Well, I was able to speak with the mother um, very briefly. I had photographed her uh, and her daughter and se several other uh, children, other families. Um, the mom told me that they had been um, traveling for a month and coming from Honduras uh, through Mexico over the course of a whole month is a very difficult journey uh, for these folks, uh, often very dangerous. And so by the time they had reached the U.S. side, they had probably been through a lot already. What was going through your mind when you took the picture? Well, they had been body searching uh, people as they were loaded into vans to be taken to a processing center where they were possibly separated uh, parents and children. And one of the last people to get on the bus was the mother of this child uh, and her daughter together. And when they went to body search her uh, against the vehicle, they asked her to put down her child. Mm. And right then, in that moment, uh, the little girl uh, broke into tears. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's not unusual for toddlers in any circumstance to have separation anxiety. Mm -hmm. But I think this particular situation with the separation of families leads uh, and gives a new meaning to that phrase. Oh, gosh. I mean, that picture, it makes, it makes us all get tears in our eyes. It's so hard to see her her crying and seeming so desperate. When you took that picture, did you know it was something special that it could become a defining image of this moment in history? Well, I had photographed families uh, trying to seek asylum uh, many times on different visits to the U.S.-Mexico border. Um, what it looked like in many ways was similar to what I had seen before. And I think the families there, they had no idea that they would soon be separated from their children. Um, I could tell they weren't up on the recent news. They'd been traveling in difficult conditions. Um, but I knew what was going to happen next. And for me to take these pictures, scenes that I'd seen before, but with the knowledge that these parents and their children would soon be in separate detention mm -hmm. facilities, uh, made it hard for me personally as a, as a journalist, as a human being, and, and especially as a father.